42-year-old Nina Ferro has performed across the globe as a backing singer. But now, she's about to take centre stage. Tonight, I'm singing Why by Annie Lennox. The one thing I love about Annie Lennox is that she has had longevity. I think that's all anyone wants when they start this life in this music industry. And bang. Oh, my God. There it is. Out she goes. Good luck, Ronan. Good luck, Jess. Hello. My name is Nina Farrow. Where are you from? I'm from Melbourne originally. Yeah. What brings you to The Voice Australia? Just the opportunity to be heard and be a part of something really fantastic. I've been singing a long time for other people and now I want to be out front. That's why I'm here. What sort of environments have you been singing in? Everything from small intimate clubs throughout the UK and Europe and here in Australia to big arenas like Wembley Arena, wow. the Royal Albert Hall, that kind of thing. So, yeah. For me, with you, it's a matter of finding out why you've been the backup singer and not the lead, you know? Picking your moments. That's what this business is all about, is moments that all get strung together and then you have a career. Um, so it's really about finding them and capitalizing on them. That's what we do. So what is it then you're looking for in this moment? You want to unlock something? You just want to start a new career out the front with music? Absolutely. And you said it, unlock something. Yeah. It's, it's the next part of my journey. That's why I'm here. Well, you're an absolute pro, obviously, and knowing this industry and growing up in it like the back of my hand over here in Australia, I am the coach for you on that. Thank you, Delta. Thank you. Here we go. Right. Come okay, on, so I love Annie. Big fan. She's an incredible voice. The gentleman who produced that record, Steve Lipson, is, he's my producer as well. I would love to get you together with Steve and, and, uh, and see what you could do. The thing that, that's, uh, that's, that, that's what you call a checkmate. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm not that's there fun. yet. Hang on, hang on. I've got a few more moves. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, as a coach, it's not just about adding, it's about taking away sometimes too. Some of the things I, I would like to take out from that performance that would make you a real star because you have the ability, you have the talent. And with a coach like me, we could go all the way. Thank you. 
He's good. He is good. He's good, He's good. He's good. I just want to say, obviously, I didn't turn around. Um, for me, I didn't turn around because it was safe, and it was, it was kind of just, I'm singing, I'm entertaining, I'm going to get from the beginning to the end. Go out of your comfort zone. Otherwise, I think you could slip under the radar. You can only make yourself a star, because when this show ends, none of us are here. I might be here. You might be here. <laughs> okay. I might be here. You'll still be here in the studio. I'll still be here. It's in this seat when everyone else is gone. <laughs> but I'm excited to see you next in a battle situation, and don't let it be anything predictable for your voice, that's all. Okay. Decision time. Hold your heart. Okay. I had someone in mind, and actually, when I'm standing here now, I've, I've got to go with my gut. And I'm going to go with my heart. And I'm actually going to go with Ronan. Woo! personal address book helps to make it two from two tonight, taking his overall tally to three. Congratulations. Well done. Woo! I mean, you are on fire, Ronan. Just so you know, it's 12. Okay, I need to Slow be down. careful. No, you know what? That is an absolute win. <laughs> Phone your producer now. Yeah, I better get Steve on the phone. All right. So well, there's this thing, there's a situation that's occurred. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why you speak like that. <laughs> oh yeah. In my world, most people talk like that. <laughs> In pitching, it's like every now and then you see an opportunity to go one more time, try to get it, and then sometimes you just know you've sometimes been beat. you just got to be graceful. Yeah, and, and Ronan beat us there. I think we've gone too soft against Ronan now, and now he's a. Uh, He's way too clever and learning way too quick. 